Well, obviously, the start, the first quarter point of a season, an entire season does not make. But what has stood out to you about the Clippers that does impress you about this start here, Smitty? You know, first of all, the way they've been able to score without having a number one option. I think Tobias Harris is growing into that role. But what I love about the Clippers, if you watch them, the versatility on defense, they're able to slide their feet and guard G and Casey without fouling. That's the one thing I like about them. If you watch their games, they don't foul a lot. They contain their man and they contest. And then they rebound the basketball. It's simple, basic basketball that Doc Rivers has these Clippers playing. You mentioned Doc. I feel like, Grant, people kind of maybe forgot for a second how much Doc and coach had kind of the dual role. Soon as things kind of focus went back on the coaching, heck of a job last year. It's continued into this year. How much of an imprint is it from his culture on maximizing what's gone on right now on the floor for this team? Well, you're right. People forgot. People forgot that Doc was a great coach and – there was just a, a lot going on in that locker room, and, and, I, and I feel like Doc is, is having fun again. He's having fun coaching. He doesn't have that responsibility, which, which became, I think, a burden and became too much for him. And he's got a team of young players who have something to prove, and I think they fully have given him everything and bought in. And so, you know, Doc Rivers is probably having his most impressive year coaching as the Clippers head coach, and uh, he's made some – uh, some great adjustments. He's, uh, he's empowered Tobias Harris. He's put him in a position now and challenged him to take a step forward with his game and playing at an all-star level thus far in the season. Uh, Smitty talked about the versatility. He's got different lineups. He has different ways of playing. He can go big with, Mar you know, the big fella, you know, uh, Marjanovic. Um, but then Lou Williams off the bench, and he's, in, you know, uh, the, the young kid, the point guard. Uh, Shake Alexander, Gilgis Alexander, Shake is yeah. Alexander. I mean, he, he has incorporated all these players and given them a chance, and they're all sort of coexisting, uh, playing well together. And, and really, that speaks to their character. But more importantly, Doc Rivers making them believe that this is, this is, you know, this is not a rebuilding project. You know, we are for real. We're a playoff team. And right now, as you said, the quarter spot sitting there at number one. Yeah, I said the last couple of years doing it, Smitty, we've done it together. In summer league, when you see rookies stand out, Kind of says something to me because it shows that they're really ready to play. And Gildas Alexander, one of those guys we didn't really see with his role at Kentucky, what he could do. But they have an unselfish everywhere. I mean, think about some of the – look at what Harold's doing. Think yes. about Harris. Think about Beverly. Think about all of these players. They're willing to do whatever it takes that night. I know there's no Donovan Mitchell here, so I'm not comparing it. But Utah last year, who did way better than we thought they were going to do, kind of a, an all-of-us versus one guy kind of a thing – how much are we learning about just the element of team when you watch these guys play together, but they don't have one big star standing in? Well, Grant said it. I mean, these young guys are buying in. Usually don't have young guys buying in this early in their career. Uh, the kid, Alexander, has just been fantastic. He still, he looks like an old vet out there playing. Mm -hmm. And then Montrezl Harrell is just putting on his hard hat and saying, I'm going to outwork you. Uh, Galinari is, is healthy as well, so he's one of those guys that Doc can run a play for, and he has the confidence to take shots and make shots. But they have guys that understand. It's Lou Williams' time in the fourth quarters. They have guys that understand their role, and they all defend. And that's what Doc is really known for, a team to have veterans defend, but he has these young guys defending at a high level. And usually the uh, opener opens for the main event. Maybe it's the same thing here. Warriors, Raptors, no, 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 one seed in the West. The Clippers mm. trying to get there. Russell Westbrook, he's moving up lists of his own 